Will you be busy in here today because of the football? Yeah. But it's doing help. <laughs> After filming a few videos in the Netherlands this week, I've made it back in time for Scottish Cup semi-final weekend. We have two games back to back today, Saturday, Aberdeen versus Celtic and tomorrow Rangers versus Hearts. But today's game, Aberdeen and Celtic. Aberdeen need to win today really to save their season. They've had a pretty poor one with the exception of one or two okay results in Europe. I feel like their European football really did hold them back in the early stages of the season. They were concentrating on that. They let their domestic form slip and it's never picked up since. Celtic themselves haven't had the best of seasons, especially when you consider how good they were the last two years um, under Posta Coglu. But after a few bumps in the road, they have hit some good form at the right time of the season. They've only lost two games since the 10th of December when they lost against Kilmarnock. And those two losses have been against Hearts, a bit of a bogey side for them. It's the 20th of April now. The league is in their hands. Obviously, they got knocked out of the League Cup early by Kilmarnock, who have gone on to have a great season themselves. And today they're in the Scottish Cup semi final. So if they win today and their favourites to then they'll face either Hearts, their bogey team, or Rangers, their biggest rivals, in the final. Michael, it's an early start today, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Um, did you come down this morning? No, we came down uh, yesterday to stay okay. in Glasgow for the night. It makes it a little so, bit easier, I yeah. suppose. 12.30 kickoff, isn't yeah. it? Um, I guess today's like saving the season stuff, isn't it, for Aberdeen? Yeah, last chance for Europe, hopefully, if we win. Hopefully, have Rangers in the final. That's why I'd be happy with. Rangers in the final. Beat Celtic today. I think it'll be 1 0. Why do you think it's been so bad in the league this year? Do you think Europe really held you back in those early stages? Yes and no. The management team not changing the team enough. He brought in all those players and never changed it. And then he was blaming it on the midweek fixtures and all that. If you're signing players, have faith in them, put them out, show them what they've got. Because they're not going to get any better sitting on the bench, not yeah. doing anything. And your new manager? I'm excited, something different. Yeah, what do you think? I'm happy that it's something outside the normal roundabout Scottish football. Just find someone and go for it. It's New, fresh different. ideas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully, challenge for third next season. How big is today for Aberdeen? It's a, it's a big game uh, with it being a Scottish Cup semi final, second semi final of the season for us, and obviously at the back of um, the League Cup final and not having much of a, a good season in the league. It's a big game for us today. We've got some badges here. Nothing Celtic or Aberdeen related that I can see. Oh, there's a Dennis Law down there. Could be Man United, but technically Aberdeen, I guess. Um, there's a lot of Scotland stuff. Look at that, some Lowland League badges there. South of Scotland League there. Kenneth, right, what are you thinking for today, mate? Win, of course. Has it been uh, a bit of an up and down season, but I suppose now you've like hit some good form right at the right time, haven't you? Uh, uh, now that Rangers have started to drop points, we've started to gain a bit of confidence. Yeah, it's so. been sort of back and forth between you two this season, uh, and you're expecting a win today, but what's the score uh, going to be? 3-0. Rangers fan and Achilles fan, you're working the game today. Yep. What are you thinking going into this one? Uh, not sure. Well, Killian had a great season. I know we've been brilliant under Derek McInnes. What a, what a turnaround. It's just a shame that you're not back at Hamden. I know you were here last season. Was yeah, it? we were yeah. here, but unfortunately, isn't it? Yeah. Celtic under Ange Foster. Put on. Ange, Ange Foster Cogley, Cogley, yeah, it was always going to be tough to beat them. And for Rangers, your semi finals here yeah. tomorrow against Hearts. Yeah. Do you give them much of a chance after the last couple of results? No, I'm feeling confident for tomorrow. Two friends here called Simon. Glenn. But you're an Aberdeen fan. Yes. You're a Celtic fan. That's right. You're friends right up until 12.30 today. Kick off, kick off. Yeah, and kick then off. friends again after the game. Hopefully. I hope so, because he's driving me home. <laughs> so Tuesday night in Celtic, in uh, Glasgow, I think. <laughs> so I hope it's not far to go then. If uh, I'm going to go back to Aberdeen. Oh, back up to Aberdeen yeah, today as well. Yeah. yeah, so he's going to have to listen to me and I'm going to have to listen to him. Yeah. Right, OK. Then, so you've come down for the game. Did you come last night or this morning? No, I came down this morning. How was that? That was grand. What time did you leave? It was good until I started getting the history of Glasgow from this Glasgow region. Because you know, I come from this part of Glasgow, so right, I was okay. telling them. And so oh, you've moved stories. up and then yeah. you, you're obviously from Aberdeen. Yeah, originally, yeah, yeah. So who's happier this season oh, out of you two? I am, 100%. Because even for Celtic, it's been a little bit up and down, but for Aberdeen, they've been consistently pretty yeah, poor in yeah, domestic. It's just been, started off well, European run was good, league, 
gosh. But hopefully the new manager comes in, so uh, fresh slate, and hopefully these new players can see what's coming as well. But he's so, not going to be managing today, is he? No, June, I believe so. So he's going to wait until the end of the I season? We've still got a reaction today, that's what we're going for. And so for yourself then, for Celtic, you must be pretty happy the last couple of weeks, especially oh, yeah. with the league. <laughs> I mean, I've always kept it faith, but you know, there's times when you did think, but everything's looking good. Do you want anything to drink? Um, I'm going to grab a coffee. So, covering the game for Celtic on commentary for the fans that need audio descriptive commentary. Amazing, so that must really help out the fans who obviously struggle to, to watch the games and stuff. Where can people find that? So, if you come to Celtic Park and request a headset and you've got your own earphones, you can access the radio light commentary that myself, Kevin and Katie deliver. And you also do it at Hamden for the big games as yeah, well. Yeah, as well, so it's it's always nice to, to be back here. And so, going into it today then, um, who needs the win more out of yourselves and Aberdeen? Cause both seasons are kind of hinging on today I feel like. Do you know it's been a strange season for Celtic in the sense that things have shifted in recent weeks with the title race you know results elsewhere have, have really helped so you could argue with the league looking as if it could head back to Celtic Park that it's bigger for Aberdeen today new manager coming in the summer and Jimmy Thelen so it'll be an interesting one but I think both teams really need to win just to get that momentum going because obviously it looks as if the title's going to Celtic Park but there's no guarantee as we all know and it's an exciting weekend isn't it when it's Scottish Cup semis weekend because you get them back to back you got this today and then Hearts v Rangers tomorrow what do you think about that? I think tomorrow I fancy Rangers to win because as I say recent results for them haven't been good but you cannot dispute the fact that Philippe Clement's done a great job since he's come in in terms of winning the League Cup mm -hmm. progressing in Europe Yes, it's been sticky in recent weeks, but he'll be hoping that's just a blip. He can win tomorrow, get to a final and continue on in the league. And even if he doesn't win it this year, he's only just in the door and I'm sure he'll want to build his own team for next season. People have barely even made it to their seats yet, and it is already 1-0 to Aberdeen. Majowski's such a good player. I know Shanklin's always linked with a big move, but surely Majowski is being looked at by Celtic and Rangers. I think he's such a quality finisher, and he's made it 1-0 here. And you'll obviously notice that the Celtic section starts here and goes all the way around to behind that goal obviously they are from Glasgow where this stadium is but Aberdeen it's a long way for them to come and they haven't won a trophy for a very long time but credit to the Aberdeen fans that have come but they are in that corner there it looks like the Lino's got his school shoes on for the Scottish Cup semi-final yeah I'm not sure about that He wants a penalty for a handball. VAR checking possible penalty. Don Robertson's the ref today. Obviously, we interviewed him. The only referee I've ever interviewed. Not a penalty. There's half time. 1 1 in a really interesting game. Both sides have a lot of chances, but the best thing about it so far the atmosphere.
Nottingham Forest. He's just come on as a sub. scrambled there. Look at these lads. They cannot believe it. and it is going to extra time. Oh, Aberdeen have just put one wide. There's a little break in play now for an injury in this first half of extra time. I'm usually not a big fan of extra time, to be honest. I've seen a lot of extra times in my time that have just fizzled out and the teams just seem to wait for penalties. Um, but I'm happy for this game to continue. It's been a great game so far, end to end. Chances for either side. A draw, if it was a league game, would probably be a fair result, but this one needs to be decided. Right on the stroke of half-time of extra time, Celtic, as you heard, made it 3-2. That was Matt O'Reilly, good finish from him. Half-time, extra time. <laughs> Aberdeen have got a penalty. What a game of football this has been. Or have they? Or is it... Is it a pen or is... It? No, I think it's a penalty. Or is he given a free kick? I think he's given a free kick the other way, has he? I don't know what's going on. VAR have looked at it and said no penalty, so it must have been a foul by, I think, Hoylett and Carter Vickers. Yeah, Hoylett must have fouled him, it's a weird one, one of them coming together so I'll have to watch it back Oh my god Aberdeen have done it again they're going to take this one to Pems Oh what scenes in here, look at that Excellent game of football we've had so far. Full time, we're about to have penalties. How was that for you, Aberdeen fans? Really good. That was mental, wasn't it? Very up yeah. and down. Who's played the best so far for Aberdeen? I mean, I think quite like since he's been coming on, like, it's been really good. And do you think you'll win it on pens? Hope so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, here we go. First penalty shootout for a long time, I feel like, on this channel. First up is Adam Eder for Celtic. Up against Roos. Oh, 
Celtic. God, the booze and whistles and Aberdeen take one. There's a lot more Celtic fans in here, obviously. So the pressure must be massive. Some good penalties so far. Matt O'Reilly next for Celtic. He ain't gonna miss. It's Matt O'Reilly, he's already scored. Steps up. 3 2. He can't watch. 3 3. Receive it. Oh, he got a hand to it. It's crept in, it's 4-3 to Celtic. Bruce is down now for Aberdeen, the goalkeeper. After that one went in, he's injured himself. Johnston scores. I think that was close. I think did Joe Hart get something on that one maybe? Not sure. 5-5 five, five on penalties. 3-3 three, three after extra time. Back round to Celtic again. Good penalty. 6-5. fans I feel for them they've come a long way for today it was a tough fought game out there today wasn't it how did you find it uh, yeah it was mad it was a mad game uh, probably a brilliant game for the neutral but um, it was Aberdeen were really good in the first half, they sort of probably felt like they were maybe the better side in the first half and we started to control the game a bit more in periods but it was just, it was open and it was sort of up and down and it's just great to come out on top of a game like that. After the League Cup loss against Killy earlier this season, was it important to make sure that you got to the final and won this Scottish Cup this season? Yeah, 100%. We want to win every trophy that's available to us. So that's obviously bitterly disappointing to go out early in the, in the League Cup. And, and um, this is massive for us to sort of, I suppose, make up for that. How was it having the fans behind you? Because the atmosphere here at Hamden is always amazing. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the split was or what the final number was in terms of the uh, number of Celtic fans. Um, but, you know, how we played, they definitely could have got a bit more anxious and we could have felt that energy, but they didn't, you know, even going into the penalty shootout there. Um, they were behind us, they stayed strong with us, and that made a big difference because you can feel that anxious energy. It's already a tough enough walk when you're walking up to go take a pen, um, but no, they did a great job staying behind us and you know, kind of willing us on to that victory. And obviously you went out early in the League Cup, but how mm -hmm. important is it to win trophies at Celtic? You've been here obviously now, you've won enough yourself, but yeah. you want to keep that going, I suppose. Yeah, I know it's exactly that. This club, that's the bare minimum. It's, it's about competing for trophies, it's about lifting trophies. Mm -hmm. um, and as a player, you're kind of judged by that. Whenever you, you, know, whenever you do end up leaving the club, it's going to be People are going to look back on how many trophies you lifted, and that's yeah. going to really be a testament of, you know, how you did at the club. Um, so it's important for us. It's important for our fans. They know how, what it means to not only be competing for trophies, but but lifting them. Um, so that was, you know, a really important one. It wasn't pretty necessarily, but at the same time, 
that's our crowd that's willed us to victory there. Just about getting over the line, I suppose, exactly in these days. That. Survived in advance. And now, obviously, you've got a Scottish Cup final to prepare mm. for later yep. in the season. Uh, the league has just gone back and forward between that's yourselves crazy, and Rangers this year. The title race has been amazing, but the last couple of weeks it's swung in your favour. Have you been keeping much of an eye on what happens across the city or...? Uh, no, honestly, in. we know that it's still in our hands. Whatever happened, uh, whatever goes on with the results, we know that if we just take care of our business, which we feel really confident that we can do, um, that you know we can play for play for a title. Um, so there's still a long way to go. So five big matches there, and obviously a cup final. Um, but yeah, no, we're, we're completely focused on ourselves. Whatever happens over there, it doesn't really make a difference to us because we know we go out there, five matches, five wins, and you're going to lift the league title. So we're happy with that. It's in our hands in a way. Um, we just got to keep focusing on ourselves. I usually can't stand extra time and hate when games go to it and it always drags on, but today's game, I really didn't want it to end. I'm usually thinking like what the time is, when's it going to end so I can start editing and get the video up and all that kind of boring stuff. But today's game I just really wanted it to carry on and carry on I reckon if we'd still be playing now it'd probably be like 12 all at this stage but I feel for the Aberdeen fans I feel for the Aberdeen players as well they put in a really good shift today they've had a pretty poor season the club standards they should be a lot higher up the league than what they are right now um, they've obviously been in Europe like I said earlier but yeah for them to win a cup finally it's been a long time um, would be great for them but they're not going to win it if they can't beat Celtic and beat Rangers on days like this. They lost the League Cup final, obviously, against Rangers this season, and now they've lost the Scottish Cup semi-final against Celtic, and their fans will be going home buzzing. They created a great atmosphere in almost the entirety of the stadium. A couple of interviews with Celtic players at the end there as well. Um, absolutely buzzing with today. Look at this, lovely sunny day, um, and I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. You will have done if you're a Celtic fan, that is for certain. I'm gonna leave a couple of videos on screen. One will be Dutch related. I literally, like I said earlier, came back from the Netherlands yesterday, um, and another one will be either Celtic or Aberdeen related so please click to carry on watching. Thank you and goodbye.